Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna be doing something highly anticipated. I am going to be finally telling you what I am gonna be packing for Download Festival! As you might already know, I go to Download Festival nearly every year. Actually, I think I've been going nearly every year for the last 10 years. 10 years on the trot. I think I've only missed about two or three. This year is gonna be absolutely epic. When I found out the lineup, I pretty much wet my pants. So many of you wanna know <laughs> what I packed, my outfits, and any kind of like packing tips, I suppose. So this year, gotta be completely honest with you, this year, me and my friends are camping VIP, or should I call it RIP, that's Download's version of VIP. And we've been toying with the idea of going VIP for the last few years, like, you know, as we got a bit older, looked at the package, we looked at how much it was, and they have like this pay in installment sort of thing. And we thought, fuck it girls, let's do it. It's like being on holiday. Five days, you're in a nice tent, you get your ticket, you get duvets, you get towels, you get electricity. And we thought, you know what, we're getting fucking old out. We need their luxuries, man. We need a good bloody sleep. So we were RIPing it. So I don't actually need to bring a tent or a sleeping bag. So everything I'm gonna be showing you is my outfit and all the other bits and bobs that I'm gonna be taking with me to the festival. So first up, the outfits. Outfit number one is a very typical me outfit. I have gone for a band t-shirt. This is a Black Sabbath cropped one. A leopard screen midi maxi skirt with like an asymmetrical, like floofy detail on it. Then I've got this mega leather tassel western jacket that is just badass on all levels i love it this is just going to be the download jacket you know it's going to be water resistant it's going to be warm and it looks fucking cool i've got this little cool bum bag which is from sacred hawk larger than your average bum bag and actually the strap's quite big too i need to make it tighter i've got my shriver dr martin boots which are my favorite dr martins and these will be like the boot of the festival obviously other than my backup wellies and i might even take some converse but generally i reckon i'll just be wearing the shrivers this outfit is a cool denim dress that i got from primark and i've laid it with a sparkly body suit you know to keep it all festive and glittery and fancy and then i've just cinched in my waist with my favorite belt this belt will be making quite a lot of appearances then if it rains i have this raincoat which i got from top shop it is a rain mac in this great leopard print i wore it to alton towers the other day it's fantastic don't forget a raincoat or a rain mac or a poncho i love wearing a dress you know every now and then with a nice split leg bit wooshy very flexible this dress is from top shop and i bought it the other day because I, well, I just fell in love with it it's brilliant again cinched in my waist from a belt then i got my denim jacket so it will be it will be jacket wars between the denim jacket and the brown jacket ain't gonna lie but this is like well comfy really easy and yeah vibing man rock and roll this is for see you next tuesday day i don't like saying that word on my channel but it is my favorite word <laughs> basically that day is where we get well glittery we wear like loads of sparkles and we just party hard and we just are animals this dress is from nasty girl it's this amazing split leg silver sparkly dress made it look more badass though with the belt cinched in i've got my cowboy boots with some cool details and then piece of la resistance party hat party hat is legendary and man have i got up to mischief in party hat this is a very typical me festival outfit this ripped denim shorts which i absolutely bloody love an oversized band t-shirt a big old jacket a belt cowboy boots party hat boom take me back to the 80s baby what else do i need to say about it but it's just the absolute perfect download festival outfit in my opinion in my opinion whatever these outfits might change ever so slightly you know we've got a few weeks left might change my mind a little bit, might mix it up, but who knows? This is generally, though, the kind of thing that I like to wear. Now, booze. Welcome to the realms of my booze cupboard. You could get lost in here. I'm gonna show you typically what kind of booze I like to take to Download Festival with me. Obviously, no glass bottles, uh -uh. but there is a world of booze to be had that doesn't come in glass. So, <clears throat> first of all, these are pretty good. Pre-mixed cocktail cans. This one is Shake Baby Shake. This is a passion fruit martini. If you can't get your hands on these, I'll tell you where does a good cocktail in a can. M&S, Tesco, and they're normally on offer. So you can get like three for five pounds, three for the price of two, blah, 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 blah. 
and they're just well good for like, you know, getting up, can open, da -na -na -na, getting ready to go party. So little cocktail and can. So I've got that one. Also got a little gin and tonic in a can. These are also going to be coming handy. They're just small. They're just small. They're light. They're easy to carry. But if you want to be a total fucking badass like we're going to be this year, we are taking a keg of beer. Because I am now the hipster swat that I am these days, I won't settle for any old lager. So we're taking Adams from Southwold. Ease up IPA. I know that Sinead is going to be bringing a Strongbow keg. And you can also get Desperado's kegs. They're actually, you can now get them in the supermarket. There are weird instructions on these though. So you're going to have to look it up on the back because you have to keep it still for like a day or something. The other option is to get like some plastic bottles like this. Empty them out. Well, use them. And then fill these with your favourite spirit and then you can always take, you know, like gin, you could have and a tonic. That's normally the way that we kind of do it. We always, we always have like a spirit or like last year we had shit shots. I have no idea that what were in the shit shots. Heidi just bought the shit shots. Shit shots have started. Shit shots. I also like, obviously, my brew dogs. I love my brew dogs. Last year I was drinking Elvis juice from brew dog. Elvis juice from brew dog was responsible for this monstrosity. Have a good time? Yeah, yeah. Oh, scared. She said, I'm gonna get drunk. <laughs> She's not anyways. Let's get lit. I am never getting that drunk again. <laughs> <laughs> the beer fear and the dread the next day was fucking real. Snacks are pretty important. If I'm completely honest, I like to budget for eating my meals in the arena or in the village. I see Downland Festival is like a holiday. I budget for having a decent amount of spending money where I can afford to eat out every meal. So whether that's just getting a breakfast bap, pizza. I like to have my free main meals. When I was younger and I didn't have a full-time job and I was like well skinned, I would do the whole like taking beans and bacon or eating whatever camping food I could. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you're like a pro camper or, or you're on a budget, absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's pretty admirable to be honest, but I am lazy and and I also love street food and the street food there is magnificent. But I do like to have snacks on the campsite just in case I get like munchies at the night time or I wake up ravenous or just bored, <laughs> if I'm honest. We take this kind of stuff with us, breakfast bars, nut bars. Obviously I'm gonna get brand new ones. Naked bars, probably will take a selection of crisps. Rings. We're gonna have some party rings when we go. Oh, chocolate. Chocolate's always a must as well. I love having a bit of chocolate at a festival. As it's not time to go just yet, I'll do my download shop like the day before. So that's the general vibe of the food and snacks that we take. It's not very healthy. Maybe I'll take a banana with apples, but it's not really the most healthiest. It's just, just in it, so we do. And you are also gonna probably wanna take some soft drinks as well. My soft drink of choice for a festival, and it's been a favorite for years, and I think all the girls now buy a box, it's Capri Sun. I always wake up and fancy a Capri Sun, but yeah, don't forget to take like bottles of water, Lucozade, anything really. You could take like a little bottle of squash and some water, just stay hydrated sometimes it gets hot and let's be real here if we're all going to be drinking we're going to have raided hangovers in the morning so you're going to want a soft drink to wake up to so yeah defo don't forget a soft drink you'll regret it where is it <laughs> ah there you are my beauties camping chair, wellies. Obviously, you're gonna want the wellies just in case it pisses it down. I like to keep my wellies in the boot of my car because if it does rain, I can always go back and grab them. <sighs> Pretty self-explanatory why you might want a camping chair in a campsite, <laughs> somewhere to sit. You're gonna be doing a lot of killing time between bands or, you know, if you're not really feeling the, the, the lineup at, at a particular time, you're gonna to wanna to just sit at your campsite and chill for a bit, get a bit tanked up. It's good to have a little hole in the armrest here to put your beer in. But generally, um, 
There's also going to be times where you've had a few hours in the arena and you want to go back and chill, maybe have a few bevs, just unwind a bit and you're going to want to have somewhere to sit. Now, I'm just saying this, I think it's campsite courtesy if you get your own camping chair. Don't be stealing other people's camping chair or, or trying your luck. I picked this up well cheap from the range. It might seem like effort and it might seem, oh, it's a bit unnecessary, but believe me, having your own camping chair and knowing that is yours and if anyone sits in your fucking camping chair, you boot that bastard out. No, I'm not that mean, but you know, if someone is in my camp and someone is in my chair, I will very politely go, uh, excuse me, can you, that is my chair. <sighs> Love it. Now for cosmetics and miscellaneous, here's some of the things that I like to take. So obviously I'm going to take a makeup bag on that, right? I like to get like a wash bag that I can put everything in. If I about, just get like one big wash bag, which you can put your cosmetics and your makeup in. I like to keep my makeup down to a kind of a minimum, just to take one foundation, one brow, one eyeliner, one mascara, and then keep, try and stick to one eyeshadow palette. Otherwise you just don't want to be taking so much crap with you. You just, less to carry the better basically. I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Born to Run palette, which is this bad boy. It's my current favorite. It's got, it's got a nice variation of colors. It's got pinks, oranges, nudes, blacks and blues. It's basically got a selection of everything, so it's kind of perfect. So that is the palette I'm gonna be taking. I'm also gonna be taking eyelashes. Now, okay, this is completely down to you, but I like to think that I can make a pair of lashes last a few days, but at a festival, it depends how you are when you get in from the night and if you manage to take them off and put them in a safe space. So I like to take a few packs of lashes. Face crystals and glitter. We do go kind of all out when we when we're partying. Maybe not wear them every single day, but there's at least one day where we go all out with glitter with our outfit and um so these are a must and so is some biodegradable glitter. The next thing, I'm not too happy with this because I've completely gone off face wipes because of the environment. For me, I don't like face wipes anymore because after seeing some horrible images of face wipes in, uh, I think it was a sewer or it might have been like a landfill, I don't know. I'm just like, it's unnecessary. But at a festival, if you haven't really got any other choice, you might, you might need some face wipes. I'm not that happy about it. But I might need them because the other option now, I am now in the age where I shower at festivals. I remember when I was younger, I used to think showering at a festival was super lame. Now I'm just like, mm, actually hygiene's quite cool. So I will get up and I will find a shower. I know that with the package that we've paid for, we have showers. So obviously if you're gonna shower, you'll need a towel, take a towel, and you'll need your shower gel and your shampoos or whatever. I, To be honest, I will say it, having a shower at a festival is really satisfying. Sometimes you do have to go in a communal shower and get butt naked in front of a bunch of strangers. I'm over it. I just get my kit off and I go in. A lot of girls wear bikinis or swimming costumes, fair enough. But I'm just like, you know what? We've all got the same bits. Nothing new here. Back to the point. If you don't want to use these and you're going to use the shower, why not take some flannels along? A little, little cleanser to take off your makeup. Saving the planet. Every little helps. Don't get sun lotion. There might be a day where it is super sunny. You'll get burned. The amount of times people in my campsite have come back looking like a lobster. Come on, look after your skin. Don't get a portable charger. If you haven't got any access to electricity, you'll need a portable charger for your phone just in case you get lost or you want to take photos and you, and you want to download an app to see what schedules are. It's got quite a lot of charging. I take two of these. I've got a slightly bigger one, so I take two portable chargers, so that normally lasts me the whole weekend. I think, again, I'm very lucky. I might have electricity, who knows? But if not, there are, like, phone charging places there. It's just annoying because you have to leave your phone there and go about it. So definitely take one of these. A few other things you might want to consider is a first aid kit. <laughs> I fell over one year and I cut my knee open. Luckily, Sinead, who was a mum, she had a first aid kit and patched me right up. I cut my knee because I fell over. <laughs> he just fell into the <laughs> I fell over. Maybe. It's all right. It's Wednesday. I got the first day kit. <laughs> Shit and dicks. Please make sure my leg doesn't fall off. I can help, Helen. I don't want to get tetanus. <laughs> Are you up to date? Are you tetanus? I don't know. Ask my mummy. <laughs> Come on, mummy. How old are you? 26. When was the last time you had one? Can you remember? No. Uh, maybe you know. You can, you can go as hot, hard as you like on there if you like. I don't know. What kind of antiseptic wipes are they? Wilco antiseptic wipe cleanse and protect quick drying individually wrapped. Ooh. I've also got germaline. 
put it all on there. I'm going to. I'm going to clean it off. I'm going to put some gemeline on, and then I'm going to put a, a big plaster on there. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to look like one year later. <laughs> And then, I feel like this is going to really help me this year. This is my silk head scarf that I got. Um, and basically, you put it on before bed and it keeps your hairstyle intact. So, fingers crossed, if there's no rain, I'm going to, there probably will be rain, I'm going to style my hair the day before, like the day that I go, like curl it. And then hopefully by wearing this, it'll help to keep the style in for the weekend. There are amenities there for styling your hair if you really want to. If you go to the seat of luxury, get the seat of luxury, it's 30 quid for the weekend, but you have access to posh loos and hair straighteners and hair dryers. And tell you what, sometimes it is worth it. One thing that I thought really, really was like, was awesome, was I didn't take a sleeping bag last time. I took a duvet and a duvet cover. Just picked up a duvet from Primark or pre-rolled, came in handy. I used it, I've used it again and again and again. It's a single one with a duvet cover. Tell you what, so much nicer than a sleeping bag. You actually feel that you're at home. And blow up bed and a pillow. Like, get that little setup going. It's beautiful that's that kind of stuff out of the way so there we go everyone that is what i'm going to be packing and wearing at download festival if you made it this far congratulations thank you for being an engaged individual i'm flattered i've got something very exciting to announce so i have teamed up zippo oh fuck it. they're one of the download's main sponsors and we've done a competition on my instagram where you can win two tickets to go to download festival so all you need to do is go over to my instagram you need to follow the instructions on the post with me in with this light go check it out but anyway yeah thanks for watching hope that was useful and um if you do see me at download festival please come over and say hello and we can go and have a beer don't be shy let's party bye bye